Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. I'm back here in Michigan after an incredible trip in Canada visiting 45 Drives. I was there on site. I was also accompanied by other YouTubers as well. More on that later. I had a wonderful time at this event. So what I'm going to do in this video is tell you all about it. Now, before we go any further though, I just want to point out that this video is not sponsored by 45 Drives. Yes, they are the subject of this video, but they did not sponsor this video. I'm just going to talk about my experience at the event and well, that's it. But one thing I will sell you is a t-shirt. I have to keep the lights on somehow, don't I? For example, I have this one right here, Sidhu Aptisol Coffee. It seems to be a pretty big hit and there's many others in the official merch shop for Learn Linux TV, so check it out. Inside the shop, you'll find distro themed shirts, bags, drinkware, and more. And there's some other surprises there as well. For example, I've just introduced a mouse pad that doubles as a Tmux cheat sheet. How cool is that? So get yourself some awesome Linux swag and help me pay my electric bill. It's a win-win. Anyway, it's time to check out my experience at the 45 Drives Creator Summit, so let's do that right now. One of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel is that every now and then, an opportunity comes along to venture off to a faraway place and experience brand new exciting things or in my case recently, Canada. This past week, as of recording time, 45 Drives held a Creator Summit, an event where a panel of YouTubers, including yours truly, were invited to spend an entire week talking about technology. It was a lot of fun. But perhaps I should rewind a bit. What exactly is 45 Drives? Well, if you're not already familiar with the company, they build enterprise server equipment that definitely stand out. I mean, just look at the bezel on these things. The company is located in Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada, which is quite possibly the last place on the planet I'd expect a tech company to be located at all. Anyway, the crew at 45 Drives build servers that cater to a very specific audience. Those that want a premium server that's built to last. In fact, they don't even compete in the entry-level market because their target audience are those that want servers you can drive a truck over. Literally. Now obviously it's not a common practice to run over your servers with your truck. But on the inside, 45 Drives chooses components carefully that lend themselves well to their obsession with thermals and performance. So if you say that the company colors outside the box, that doesn't even begin to describe it. The theme at this year's event was around something called de-Microsoftification, which even their own employees have a hard time saying. De-Microsoftication. Almost. De-Microsoftication? What am I saying wrong? De-Microsoftification. Oh, uh... De Microsoftification. Great job. De Microsoftification. Or something. Oh, you missed a oh, syllable. That's I very common. Okay. Okay. I missed it. I missed an F, uh, an if in there. Dear De Microsoftification. De Microsoftification. Ooh, De Microsoftification. Uh, De Windowsification. I, I talk for a living. Remember that's, we went over that's this. That's right. Yeah, but now I'm just getting an excuse to get you in a video to get you some more subs. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. So My channel is Techno Tim. Go give me some hate in the uh, comments. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the company is careful to point out that the Microsoft within the phrase is just a metaphor. The idea is to take ownership of your data and ensure you avoid lock-in whenever possible. Vendor lock-in is an expensive, tedious, and horrible practice that some companies employ to take control of their users' data, sometimes whether they know it or not. To talk about this growing concern, 45 Drives invited myself and some fellow creators to their headquarters to discuss the problems surrounding this, as well as give talks of our own that reflected our opinions from each of our more specialized topic areas. This is something that people don't think about. Make sure it's stable. It's not enough for it to work with all your apps. Here's a challenge. Leave that live media running, disable suspend. Let it run for a week straight without shutting down. You need to know that it's stable. I mean. What if you settle on something and it does everything you want, but then you can't keep it running because it's crashing constantly? You've just wasted your time. Among the creators in attendance were Tom Lawrence, Techno Tim, Jeff from Craft Computing, Brett from Raid Owl, with Wendell from Level 1 Text joining us remotely. Outside of my friend Tom, this was the first time that I've met the other guys in person, despite the fact that we all knew each other and have been chatting for some period of time already. But it was definitely nice to finally meet them in person. During my week in Sydney, my days were spent hanging out with the crew at 45 Drives, and then during the evenings, my fiancé and I took in the local sites and explored the town a bit. To me, the area felt a bit like a time warp with older buildings and a more close-knit community. 
There wasn't all that much that stood out in the area, but at the same time, I think that's part of the charm. Sydney is a calm town where people can kick back and relax. That's what I did while I was there, even going as far as to check out the local music scene. Moonlight shadow hits the ground Love is lost, it's never found from my time spent in Sydney, I could definitely tell that it's a laid-back town where people go to appreciate the more simple things that life has to offer. Anyway, back to 45 Drives. One of my favorite parts of the trip is when we were invited behind the scenes to get a look at how the company manufactures its products. We were given a tour of the Polycase building where all of their server chassis are produced. The factory floor had all kinds of crazy equipment that all seemingly had one goal in mind, to bend metal to their will in a multitude of ways to produce servers with personality. The company is very proud of their offerings and also the fact that their products are assembled in North America. After that, we were given a tour of the actual 45 Drives building itself. Hey, come on in. This gave us an opportunity to look even more closely at the company as well as their culture. Star Trek or Star Wars? Oh, that's easy, Star Wars. Star Trek. Taking a walk around, you could tell that it's not the largest building in the world, but the things that are produced here are anything but small. In the shower. So we could take a shower at 45 Drives. The main building also houses the company's lab where they test and showcase the things that they're working on. And this is the lab where all the magic happens. Here, a series of workstations and servers are on display surrounded by test stations and areas for various tools. After the tour was complete, me and my fellow technologists took turns giving talks about de-Microsoftification from the perspective of each of our worldviews. Applications that are cross-platform are a special superpower. And I hate applications that aren't. We had, a we had a conversation earlier about Thunderbird. We could install Thunderbird on any operating system. So imagine if someone knows Thunderbird backwards and forwards, and then put them on a Linux machine with Thunderbird. They might not know anything they're doing, but once they see that Thunderbird icon and click on it, they're right at home. The talks were very interesting, and one common thread was that when it's all said and done, we just want our technology to work, and we also want data sovereignty. Why is that so hard? My talk centered around the concept of switching to Linux. I broke the process down into five stages, and I also provided some tips for newcomers. I'll have my talk uploaded shortly, if it's not already. Anyway, everyone on the panel did a fantastic job. For me, the Creator Summit was an incredible experience in many ways. First, it's not common that I get a chance to get a behind-the-scenes look at how a company like 45 Drives does what they do. Even with as large as my YouTube channel happens to be, not many companies are open to this kind of thing. As a result, vlogging isn't something that I get to do very often, but I quite enjoy it when I can. Also, we creators exist within our own little community behind our cameras, but we're often so busy with our own content that collaboration is often hard to make time for. Whenever we attend an event like this one, sometimes being away from our normal creative routine results in a spark that we could take back with us to our respective audiences. You could definitely expect a collaboration or two among our channels resulting from this event. As for me, the entire experience had an additional impact. It caused me to reflect on myself as well as my career. When this channel was started in a poorly painted basement well over a decade ago, I never would have thought that it would have the impact that it did, not just on me, but for my audience as well. And since then, I've had so many great adventures and I've visited places that I never thought I would. But more than anything, I'm excited for the future and what's to come. Gone by